hello everybody welcome back to another video i just randomly felt like vlogging it is bud day i forgot what day it was i have off from work today so i'm just living my life i woke up at five for the gym i still had to get up early because i knew i wanted to get cardio done plus monday is leg day so that takes me a little bit longer so i was at the gym for quite a long time um, but I knew I wanted to get my cardio in today since I have off and I have the extra time to be able to do it so that I don't have to wake up at like 3.45 on another day that I've worked to get my cardio in before I work. So that's what's going on. I just got back from the gym. I'm super, super hungry. I also wanted to show you guys my gym bag that I've been using and kind of like what I put in it. I haven't organized anything, but that's because I was just at the gym. So I've been using this bag from Vure and it's super cute. This lighting is very orange. I don't know why, but this is like a light pink camo. Um, and then it has this pocket on the outside. I'll stick my phone in here because it's also like, um, you can't see it, but it's like furry inside almost. Um, so I stick my phone in there and then it has like this long strap and then the two like little straps. And then this part is for your sneakers. So you can put your sneakers in there. I do not have mine in there right now. Um, but on days like today where I do legs and then I do cardio, I have to bring two different pairs of sneakers. So that's what I did today. So I will put these. These are the sneakers that I do cardio and hit in. These are the Nike Renew. Everyone always asks me about these. They're super cute. I just got them from Macy's um, online. So if you're interested, I really like these for cardio and for hit. So I'll stick these in the little shoe pocket, but I just threw my other shoes in here when I changed them. So these are the shoes that I lift in. These are the Nike Metcon Fly Knit training shoe. That is a mouthful. They are very dirty, but I love these for like lifting, I use them like every lifting session pretty much. Upper body, I'll change it up because I don't really need like a flat shoe, but I use these for leg days definitely because it's super flat and the bottoms are really like stiff too. So they're very stable when you're like squatting and stuff like that. So I have these in there, um, which I need to take out. And then the rest of the stuff that I keep in it, it's honestly not that much. I have my barbell pad. I prefer to have my own because ones at gyms like go um, bad really quickly with everyone using them. So I like to have my own. I just get mine off of Amazon. And then I have this booty band. This was like a set from Booty Basics. So if you go on Amazon, you can find this. Um, and then this is the band that I always use. I love this one. It's like um not very stretchy so it's like really hard like a lot of resistance with that one and then i also have the ankle strap that i use for um like kickbacks and sidekicks all of that good stuff so this was a set which i highly recommend um i'm going to need a new barbell pad just because mine is getting old i've had it for like i would say like two years at least now um so it's starting to get like worn out and starting to hurt my hips again so i think i need a new one but i just put all of that in the barbell pad just to consolidate and then i have another band so this one is just like a little less resistant so if i'm doing stuff like lunges or stuff that i don't need as much resistance i use this one this one's just from buff bunny so i have that in there as an option i keep my wallet in there when I'm lifting and then also um, when I'm in the gym, I'll put my keys in there, my sweatshirt that I always wear. I always wear this zip up sweatshirt. It's literally from, it has the D on the back. I think like 2013, it's like an old gymnastics sweatshirt, but I like wearing a zip up to the gym because I literally just wear it to the gym and then until I'm like warm enough to take my sweatshirt off. So it's just easier to have a zip with a bun so that it's not messing up your bun, all of that stuff. So I will put my keys, my sweatshirt, just so I'm carrying one thing because before I didn't have a gym bag and I was carrying my barbell pad, extra sneakers, my wallet, my key, like it was just like <laughs> way too much. So that's that. I also um, have, where's the pocket? So there's like an extra pocket right here that's like a mesh pocket. 
um, which I don't really use. And then there's a zip pocket, and then I just have tampons in there just in case, you know, you need that. And then there's like a little pocket on the side too, but I figured I would do a little what's in my gym bag. Really not that much, mostly just stuff I need for the gym. Um, but yeah, super helpful. I love my Vibre bag. I also have a backpack that Kyle uses. It's just like a plain black backpack. Um, so he can use that for football. That's from Vure. And I'm getting a fanny pack, which I'm really excited about because when I go on my walks or if Kyle and I decide to run, which I don't go that often, but if it does happen, then a fanny pack would be really helpful for like my keys and my phone so that I don't have to worry about carrying them in my hands. Cause when I run, I do have like my keys on my wrist, which is like annoying. So I'm getting a fanny pack, which is, amazing but if you guys want anything from Blu-ray, i do have a code with them it is kels and you get 10 percent off so use it as you wish i need protein and food right now because i'm so freaking hungry also i always get questions on this set this is like one of the sets that i get the most questions on um the lighting is really washing me out but i did put self tanner on <laughs> um so this is from the sarah's day white fox collab and it's so cute i honestly don't know if anything is in stock anymore because everything was sold out for a really long time and then they restocked and they've had like some stuff in stock i think that they actually might have these leggings in stock or like the second version of these leggings which just has like a stripe on the side which is super cute but i absolutely love this set if you do get anything from the sarah's day white fox stuff i don't know if this is all of white fox active but their pads and their bras are like push-up almost which works for me because i have no boobs so i don't care gives me a little something there um and then they're also like this one is thin shot so it's not gonna be like super supportive um but beware their their pads are like push-up like they're really really thick um i think you can take them out yeah you can you can take them out if you want to but if you like having pads in your sports bra and don't want to push up then i would look elsewhere but i'm going to make my protein i need to shower and get on with my day i have wedding dress alterations for the first time today at 12 o'clock so i have that today and that's pretty much it i have to do a lot of coaching work i need to edit a youtube video i still have meal prep to do for the week so i need to get that done today and yeah I made some breakfast, so I just have two whole eggs, and then I have my protein coffee shake. I also had a slice of banana bread um, because I was really hungry before I showered, so I had a slice of banana bread before I showered. I'm just watching Desperate Housewives while I eat this right now, and I was using the little robot vacuum, but it died, so I have to charge it and then keep going because our floors are very messy. So I'm going to eat this and then I still have some time until my appointment. So I need to get some online coaching work done. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll see what we do after that. I started some of the meal prep. I was gonna do this in the crock pot, but then I just didn't feel like waiting um, for it to cook or anything like that. I just wanted to get it over with. So I did a fajita chicken it's just four chicken breasts cut up with fajita seasoning that i just cooked in a pan and then i just mixed one can of corn and black beans so i'm gonna do like tacos with this i have shells um or i'll make rice and do like a burrito bowl and then i have like cheese and avocado and sour cream and then tonight i'm gonna do a like little potato like cheesy potato casserole so i just washed all of the potatoes now so that i don't have to worry about it later but now thinking about it i think i'm going to skin them so i guess it doesn't matter if i wash them or not but oh well i did it it's over with um i was gonna cut them up but if i skin them i don't want them to get like gross my container cabinet is getting a little out of hand and I need to reorganize it, but that's a task for another day. I feel like it's 10.30. I got some coaching stuff done 
earlier. So I am all caught up with that. Um, getting new clients signed up and onboarded, getting their programs out to them. I have a couple more programs that I need to write. I also want to work on my shredding for the wedding program that I'm doing myself that I will eventually have available for everyone. Um, but I need to write it for myself first to test it out. Um, so that's what's going on. I honestly am just trying to like chill today because I've been doing a lot of work with like online coaching stuff the past couple days and I want to take a little bit of time to relax. I was going to do that last night, but I ended up doing online coaching stuff all night. So that's what happened there. Um, I think that's all I have to do for meal prep right now. The rest of it I'm just going to make later when I get home for my alterations. I'm hoping that my alterations doesn't take that long because, I don't know, I just don't feel like being there for a long time. But I don't know. I've never gotten alterations done. So we will see how long it takes and how much they have to do. I'm hoping it's not too much. Kyle and I also really, really, really need to book our honeymoon today. I think we decided where we want to go, but not like confirmed but we need to do that regardless because otherwise we're not going to be able to because we were cutting it very very close so we need to do that today when he gets home also i just got back from my dress fitting and i'm having a slight meltdown <laughs> i put my dress on and i was like i don't know if i like it anymore so there's that i'm so indecisive and when i was picking out dresses i wasn't that indecisive but now i'm indecisive again and i can't tell if it's just because it's not fitted yet um because i did have to get the sample because we're getting married so soon so i didn't have time for a dress to be like ordered in a size like close to mine so it is the sample so it's like multiple sizes too big for me um but even when she had it like pinned i was like Ugh, i don't know so i don't know i'm struggling and i just like didn't feel that good i felt like i didn't look good and i don't know I know I need to like, well, I don't need to, that's dramatic. I want to cut down for the wedding and I am just like not where I would want to be for the wedding. And I feel like a wedding is just so stressful for a girl and like, <sighs> okay. I feel like there's just so much pressure on women for their wedding day to like be super skinny and look fantastic and like you have to look the best you ever have and everyone's staring at you and watching you walk down the aisle and looking you up and down and like examining your dress and now you look. So all of that is just kind of hitting me and I just like was not sure in my dress fitting but it's kind of too late i already paid for the dress too so it's like i don't want to buy another dress and then what do i do with the dress that i already bought so i i just don't know i'm like all over the place right now and i'm a little bit upset and self-conscious and yeah so it is what it is we all go through these things everyone has these feelings every once in a while and i feel like everything is just so heightened for your wedding even though we're not having like a big wedding i feel like it's just still just like so stressful of like how you look like just because everyone has such like high expectations for a bride on their wedding day of like how they're gonna look and everyone's just so excited to see you so you don't want it to be like oh like everyone's hyping this up in their head of like how you're gonna look and then you come out and it's just like ooh, like oh that would just be like the worst feeling and then there's pictures and then everyone wants to see pictures and everyone wants to see you in your dress and it's like oh a lot so that's what's happening 
I need to take a breather. I have some Instagram stuff I have to do. I have some more coaching emails to get back to. So I need to pull my life together. I'm gonna make dinner a little bit later and definitely gonna start writing my shredding for the wedding program because we got a lot of work to do people. There's a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna figure out that. I already started writing some of the workouts. Like I have all the leg days written out for what I wanna do for leg days. So I have that done. So I'm gonna write out my other upper body days, my HIIT workouts, add my cardio in. Um, and then I'm going to figure out what I wanna do for nutrition, if I wanna count macros, if I don't wanna count macros. Um, what I'm gonna be doing. I might do like some type of meal plan type thing instead of counting macros. So I'm gonna figure that out too because we gotta get on the ball. So that's that. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys my pillow. So as I showed in the last home decor video, I had the like plaid one in this corner and I got this nice new pillow from Target. I love it. It matches perfectly. It has like a little bit of texture to it, but it's still plain that they all look good together. And it's super like big and fluffy. So I love that. That's a positive. I also ordered my prints, my beach prints to go above the couch. And I got my frames from Target yesterday too. So I have the frames for whenever my prints come in. Um, I just got them off of Target on Target's like printing thing where you can print pictures, you can do posters and things like that. So that's what it would be like seven to 10 business days. So I'm sure that that will take a while. I'm having a little snack. I just have grapes and a mandarin orange. I've been trying to eat different, I've been trying to eat different like fruits and vegetables um, since I always tend to go for the same things. Fruits are really easy for me because I like a lot of fruit um, and a lot of different kinds. It's vegetables that are hard for me, but I haven't had grapes or mandarin oranges in a long time. So I decided to get them to change it up because I always have, I have apples right now, but I always have like blueberries, strawberries, bananas, and apples. Those are like my go-tos. So I got something different, but I do need to work on my vegetables because I don't like vegetables. So in general, it's hard for me to find vegetables that I like to eat. But I'm gonna have this and do some online shopping. I am making dinner. So I have the chicken in a pan just with olive oil, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So I have that cooking in there. And then in the oven, whoa, got a little foggy. <laughs> Um, in the oven, I have the cheesy potatoes. So in that, I put in just like a little saucepan on the stove top, one can of cream of mushroom soup, um, probably like a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and then like a fourth of a cup of sour cream. And then I cut up the potatoes into like chunks. So I had all that on the stove top. Potatoes were separate, but I had the other stuff in the stove top so that the cheese could melt and then I poured it over and now I have it in the oven on 415 for i think it's been in there for like a half hour ish so far and it's pretty much done i'm actually going to turn off the oven heat now because it's cooked through and now it's just like browning on the top um so i'm going to flip some of these pieces of chicken to get them all nice and cooked um and then i'm going to season these sides this other side of the chicken also with the same seasonings. I just wanna make sure that both sides are seasoned. And I like doing chicken on the stove top just because I feel like it is so quick.